Jazz solo trumpet player Anders Berggrens was born in Malmo, Sweden, and grew up in a family of jazz musicians. This week, he's performing in Hong Kong as part of a tour that includes venues in Macau and China. Bringing him to Hong Kong is a frequent visitor to our program, bassist Richard Malmsten, and they're here with me right now, along with Annalena Loren and uh, drummer Jack Greminger. Uh, welcome to the works. Thanks Thank a lot. Thanks Thank you. And so uh, let's begin by, uh, by talking about what you're actually doing here in Hong Kong and, uh, and playing this uh, small group jazz, is it? Yeah, and it's, uh, first of all, it's great to be here because it's uh, my first time and Annalena's first time here. So it's beautiful to be here and to play with Jack and Ricard. So uh, we're going to play plenty of gigs now. Right, whereabouts are you playing? Well, we play tonight at Lupa in Central. And then tomorrow we play at the Fringe Club, Wednesday. On Thursday we play at Backstage with uh, Blaine Whitaker as a, as a guest. On uh, Friday we play at Pilfresco Jazz Club and then we go to Macau. On Saturday, on Sunday we go to Penny Black in China and then uh, that's about it. I'm familiar, Anders, with your uh, 2007 release, About Time, uh, which, was, which was very much a, a jazz album. But a more recent uh, album release has been the music of uh, Annalena and, and uh, yourself as soloists, and that involved a whole host of musicians. Tell me about that project. That, uh, I, I'm writing a lot of music for big symphony orchestras. So this particular record was uh, a, a big piece for symphony orchestra, and Andrews as a soloist, and, and his trio, his uh, jazz trio as well. Is this uh, something that you think is, has, is a, a vehicle that can be more popular? Absolutely. I mean, when we had the world premiere, when the CD was released, uh, it has been overwhelming good reviews. And I mean, I was, a, was awarded a very nice prize because of my work with those things. Congratulations for that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, now, Anders, what, what's it like when you, when you perform jazz in a small club and a small group such as a quartet here? Mm. It, it's a very different feeling, I imagine, than with a whole orchestra. Yeah, it is, but at the same time, I try to, you close your eyes and you play yourself anyhow. Of course it's different. I mean, I love to play with symphony, to get a chance to play with symphony orchestras. It, not very often, but the last years has been quite a few times. And, uh, but I mean, uh, I don't really change my way of playing. I try to play, you know, it's the same heart that it comes out from anyhow, so, but it's uh, really challenging. It's, I love it. Both things, I love both things. And, and uh, you've mentioned uh, some of these more recent projects. What do you have in the pipeline? Some interesting things, uh, either of you or both of you as, a, as collaborative artists. Uh, what do you have coming up? We always collaborate a lot. We have been doing that for many years, but I have many works for big orchestras or um, uh, chamber orchestras as well, and I, and I also have a, a guitar concert for Göran Sölcke, the Deutsche gramophone artist, and uh, that is lovely. And uh, hopefully we can also bring the symphony pieces with Anders here to Rikad and everybody here in Hong Kong and China. That would be great. And Anders, yourself? Yeah, uh, I, it really looks like I'm coming back with uh, Jerry Bergansi to Hong Kong and China next year with Rikard and with Jack Greminger and with Ted Lowe on the piano, uh, hopefully that will happen. I think it will happen. Uh, well, what tune can we convince you to play here in the studio tonight? Let's do, let's try. Uh, the Fairy Queen. The Fairy Queen by Anna Lena. From the 90s. Excellent. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.